meet some of my friends them from Africa. And we are saying big up on yourself and big up Africa. Big up Kenya. We'll be there in yeah. the next few months time, you know? Yeah. We're married and come back, don't go enjoy life. Wow, that <laughs> is. We are in Jamaica. Now this is Ellen Allen Landy. A lady who has been named the oldest contestant in Miss Universe Jamaica 2024. Now, she's known as the queen of workout. Ladies and gentlemen, this lady, she is 59 years old and she is an inspiration to many. Ladies and gentlemen, a few days ago, there is this woman at the age of 59 years old. Shocked the world when she participated in Miss Jamaica as the oldest contestant. Miss Jamaica 2024, you know, Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. You know, at the age of 59, she has shocked the world, not only the world, but also her own land, Jamaica. Now, who is this lady? Her nickname is the Queen of Workout. Some call her Blonde Locks. But her real name is Elaine Allen Landy. Now, who is Allen? Elaine Landy. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to look at this lady who, at the age of 59, she has defied the odds. You know, she has gone against the societal expectation. And she is a motivation to both genders women, men, children. She is a motivation to all the continent that society should not define you and nothing should define you. Today, we want to look at this lady who has done a lot of things, you know, a lot of things in the field of workout, in the field of motivation, and in the field of health. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Ellen Allen Landy, who recently participated in Miss Universe Jamaica 2024. She is a certified health and wellness coach. And she's a trainer. As I've told you, she goes by the name, you know, Queen of Workouts. You know, when I talk about the pride that Jamaicans have, you know, she has declared herself the Queen of Workout. Now, this lady, she is also an author. And she's written a book by the name Edgeless Athlete. Edgeless Athlete. Now, her book goes and gives you a lot of things that age does not define you. And I like this lady. A few years ago, when she was 57, now she's 59, she got married again. At the age of 57, she's telling the world that, you know what, you can still get married. And her father, who is 82 years now, was 80 years. When I talk of Jamaican genes, now, when you look at the father, who is 82 years, but that time during a wedding, the father was 80 years. Man, you can't imagine. You might think that the father is like 59. I've been talking about the Jamaican genes, and, you get, uh, and some people are like, you're lying. You're lying. Now, look at this father of this lady. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today, I want to look at how this lady, the Jamaican queen, has defied the odds. You know, she's a go, she's uh, like she's gone against the societal expectations. And what lessons can we learn when a 59 year old woman defies the odds and she goes to compete where we expect young girls? You know, society will tell you that as a woman, there, you know, there is a certain age, there are things you can't do. But that is not true. I mean, that you cannot tell this Jamaican queen. Now, number one, this lady has taught us, the queen of workout, that there is no limitation. There is no limitation. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve as a human being. Now, this Jamaican queen, she's not only talking to Jamaicans. She's not only, you know, inspiring Jamaicans. But she's telling the whole world that age should not be a limitation. Whatever you want, any aspiration, your dreams are valid as long as you're still alive. And number one, this Jamaican queen has told us that age is not a limitation. Number two, 
She has reminded us the Jamaican pledge. The Jamaican pledge. You know, when the Jamaican pledge starts, it says that before God and all mankind. Before God and all mankind. So these ladies, she's trying to tell us, the Jamaicans, on their pledge, they're saying that before God and all mankind. What does that mean? There is a place that the pledge says that Jamaica has a role in the welfare of all human race. Now this lady, at the age of 59, she's telling the whole world, you know what? You can train, even if you're old, you can live that life that you, that you, I mean, that you want. But at 59, this lady, you know, her age does not define her, you know? She's bringing a new, you know, a new definition of age, a new definition of old age, you know? We are in a society whereby people are, are, are ageist. Should I say ageist? There is a certain age that you reach and people discriminate you. People tell you, you know what? You are too old. You are too old for this. But this lady, because the Jamaican pledge says, you know what? Jamaica has a role to play for the welfare of all races, all human beings. You know, regardless of your age, this lady, she's here to inspire us. Number three, this lady has also reminded us of the bobsled team. Now you remember this uh, Jamaican team that went to compete in Olympic. You know, a game that is always reserved for countries or people who come from an area where there is snow. Now Jamaica is a tropical, uh, has a tropical climate, but these people, they went. Now to Jamaicans, it was not only to go there and win, to participate, to feel the experience. Now this lady, despite her age, she is there, you know, to enjoy, you know, to enjoy and to have an experience. It is not, it is not only about winning, but having that experience, you know, being there as other ladies are parading themselves. And so she's telling us that in this world, don't have, I mean, that winning mentality, but also enjoy life, enjoy life. Let nobody put uh, uh, things to you and tell you that any competition you have to win. No, she's there. If she wins, it's okay. If she doesn't win, she experienced it. And that is another lesson you should learn in life. And that's why people talk about the Jamaican people. You know, they feel, you know, these are people who have vibe. In life, people are very competitive. You know, people have got that, you know. I just want to win, win, win. No, relax, enjoy life, and take life as it comes. Look at the bobsled team. They never won, but everybody was clapping for them. Why? They went and participated, enjoyed the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, number four, this lady has also taught us that age is just a number. Age is just a number. As I've told you earlier, we are in a society where people think that the things you can't achieve at a particular age. You know, you think that if you're 30, the things you can't achieve. You think that if you're 40, the things that you can't achieve. At 59, next year she is 60. This lady has passed a message to the youths who at 30 years have given up. We've got somebody who's struggling at 40 years. We've got somebody who's struggling at 45. And you think that you've lost hope. But she's telling you, you know what? At 59, she is sweet 16. And nothing can come, you know, in front of her. As far as age is concerned. She has told us, and she has taught us that, age is just a number. Another one. Now, if you look at number five, this lady is also speaking to women. Let's be honest. This, uh, the society has always been against women. You know, they've given women a lot of insecurities, especially age. Women have been given a lot of insecurities with their body, with how they look, you know. And let's be honest, women have always been discriminated. Let's be honest that if you reach a particular age, you know, you're now a mother, you're now a grandmother, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. No. This woman... She's sending a strong message to all women that your dreams are valid and age should not define you as a woman. You are also a human being like your fellow beings. So all women, regardless of how your body looks like, even if 
you have the stretch marks because when she's modeling she was in a swimming suit you know her whole body you know all the stretch marks and she's saying that her stretch marks are now a source of beauty the society is like to women you know you shouldn't have stretch marks your body shouldn't look like this and so women are struggling they are going to surgeries there is a perfect body or there is a perfect you know beauty standard that women have been given and now this Jamaican lady the queen of workout she's telling women you don't have to be insecure with your body love yourself the way you are and if you feel like going to swim you know if you feel like dressing how you want as long as you're happy with your body feel free these are vibes from Jamaica number six Elaine Allen Landy she's telling people there is no age limit in having fun at 59 for those of you who saw her during the Miss Jamaica you know Miss Universe Jamaica she's enjoying herself you know there she's cut walking she is having fun let nobody limit you you know you're 60 years old you're 70 years old in fact to this lady even at 100 years she's still going to enjoy life so there is no limit there is no age limit in enjoying your life to the fullest if you feel like running if you feel like jumping let no one tell you anything as long as you're a human being under this earth under the sun you're allowed to enjoy yourselves or yourself and so this jamaican lady the queen of workout she's passing a message to the whole world there is no age limit in having fun and women you can do it at any age another thing that she's trying to tell the people or the world avoid societal expectations societal expectations can kill you societal expectations can destroy you you know if she was listening to people she didn't have gone there at age 59 some of us the dreams that you want to achieve maybe you are 60 years old and you want to start a youtube channel people are telling you what hey you're too old to start a youtube channel who said you know at 70 years you can't do it no now look at her at 59 she's working out at 59 she is running and at 57 she just got married so she's telling you leave alone societal expectations if you feel like getting married at the age of 65 go ahead this life is yours is given to you by god so leave alone societal expectations and there's a, and there's a time i told you that there are the reasons why some people always hate jamaicans they don't go according to the societal expectations you know they don't follow the plans that have been put for people to follow a b c d no because this lady she has got the jamaican vibe at 59 she wants to go and participate she is participating and she's making people fall in love with her she has also written a book you know the ageless athlete there is no any age limit and so people are falling in love again with this jamaican queen now number eight a few days ago i talked about jamaican jeans this lady she also has to represent her caribbean country and she wants to tell you that the jamaican jeans are strong the strongest look at her age 59 oh the calves there she's walking and you can see that her jeans has made us has made her to still be strong and so she's also representing our caribbean country there is a lesson that she's sending to people they you know what ladies and gentlemen my jamaican jeans or our jamaican jeans are the perfect the strongest and the best and so people should always fall in love with us because we also love people but the best jeans originate and emanate from jamaica according to the lessons that we are learning from this beautiful queen lastly lastly the message that this lady is sending to us that you know what at the age of 59 the only person who gathers that courage must always be a jamaican it had to be a jamaican and so ladies and gentlemen the last point she's sending out that jamaica will always a jamaican or a jamaican i mean a jamaican person <laughs> will always pop out jamaicans will always surprise us and what she's doing now this is an inspiration it is happening now in 2024 
So those who are saying that Africa no walk, sometimes some of very such are lying to us. Google it. You can search her. Her name is, you know, her nickname is uh, the Queen of Workout. So Google Queen of Workout or Google the 59 year old participating in Miss Jamaica. You're going to fall in love with this Caribbean queen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an inspiration that people all over the world are being motivated. So when we say we leak but we tell our, this is just one of the examples how Jamaica always controls the world. And those who are always saying, you know what? This country you're speaking about is so much. These are the things that make us, you know what? Speak about this country. And we're going to continue preaching about it. So ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the session. And now, as I've told you, this lady has taught us that let us not always move towards the societal expectation. Even during our wedding, you know what? She put on a red dress. Now, for those of us who are new to this channel, remember this channel is called African Walk. We talk about love. That was inspired to us from the song sung by Bob Marley, One Love. We are here to spread positivity and one love in the whole world. Lastly, our inspirations and teachings comes from Marcus Gave, who wanted to see all Africans within the continent and out of the continent come together, physically, mentally, and in all the ways, as long as we as a people, we unite. For now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk tomorrow, same place, same time. Little more, until tomorrow. Have a nice time.